y'all doing fabulous today. I hope y'all do fabulous every day. Every day, all day. So, hold up, let me roll my windows up for a second. So, in my last video, I went to Ikea. Y'all didn't check it out. Check it out. So, the Hoven mirror was sold out. And they told me that the Hoven mirror was going to be available like the, the 26th, the 20 something, like the 25th or something like that. Well, I got an email today at 451 in the morning, even though I did not see it until this afternoon, telling me that they had the mirror in stock. And I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Because y'all said the 20 something. So I called up there, and sure enough, the lady said, yeah, you know it's in stock now y'all know the last time was my first time going to ikea this will be my second time so she gave me the owl i forgot what she said the bed number was but i got the owl i find it um so she also put me on to a little jewel which i didn't know about she says the as is area is just stuff that they took off the floor and it's like a 15 percent discount i think that's what she said it's discounted regardless because it's as is so i'm a, the first thing i'm gonna do when i get there is i'm gonna grab that mirror because she said it's only it's, it's 23 i asked her did she think that it would be gone she said no but even if she said they, they're coming in week after week after week but this is not a quick drive so that's why i got right on top of it as soon as i got off the phone with her so i'm on my way there now i'm so super excited you guys because if you're a tall if you're a tall girl a, a tall man if you're a tall person you understand the quality of a full-length mirror and it's hard to find a full-length mirror under two hundred dollars I, I went online and even walmart was like 349 so this mirror is 159 i forgot the measurements i think it's like 32 by 77 or something like that which I i'm 511 that's I need that I I need that yeah I, I really do I need it so that's why I'm going now you guys I'm on my way um there now you're on my butt sir and what you don't know about me is you cannot make me speed up what's going to happen is I'm gonna slow down and both of us are gonna be going below the speed limit so don't do that thank you give me a little bit of space thank you very much thank you very it's monday don't be like that sir so yeah you guys i am so super excited i did not know how this week was going to start off and i am so so happy that it started off fabulous i mean it was gonna start off fabulous anyway because i got up i'm, I'm here i'm still on this realm so it was gonna be fabulous anyway but i didn't know what i was going to be doing and also while i'm out i'm gonna go this time i am gonna try to find a pizza because i bought a watermelon from jules yesterday and i had to throw the whole damn thing away very disappointed very disappointed it was yuck it was yuck and they they need to go to jail for that because why would y'all have old watermelons out like they and you know what i ain't even gonna say is oh it wasn't right it wasn't it wasn't right it wasn't mushy or nothing but it was it was pink on the inside it was they it, it got picked too soon i don't know what was going on with it but i had to throw the whole damn thing away so i still want my fruit though i still want my fruit i um I had a mimosa this morning minus the orange juice Watch out, vehicle on so head. it worked out you know one glass it, it worked out that was earlier when I uh, first had woke up so yeah you guys I'm not gonna ramble not gonna ramble I got my new memory card in I'm not gonna ramble I just wanted to come to y'all real quick and let y'all know I'm on the e-way en route <laughs> to ikea yet again and i'm also gonna check out their as is area and when i tell you 
I am excited. So yeah, you guys, I will be back with y'all when I when I get to Ikea because it's a little traffic going on. So yeah, let me let me concentrate so I can get over. Hey y'all, so y'all thought I was playing. I am here going to L26. I forgot what man she said. Yes, baby, we masked up now. Hold up. So, yes, we are uh, very much so masked up now. Because, uh, shit's trying to kick back up in here. In these streets. My bad, y'all. This damn copy moving every bit you want. Hold on. Cause if I gotta ask somebody, I will. Hold on. Hold on. What she say it was? I don't know. But we gonna find it. Hold up. Give me a second, y'all. Pretty look, then you got a bag and now you violent. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Waiting, hitting you the DM, looking violent. Talking while you come around and not in silent. Through the group of 17, no goddess. You be staying low, but you know what the prize is. They ain't never got you, know it being modest. Popping, shipping only cause you know you popping. Y'all. I'm so excited right now. I can't even. I'm gonna put this in the car, then I'm coming back in to check the as it is. But right now, we headed to the checkout. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it in the checkout checkout video. Cause, hold up, let me turn this around. Look how damn big it is. It won't even lay flat. I'm gonna check it real quick. One thing about IKEA, they ain't finna pad nothing. They said we're gonna do the bare minimum, boo. Baby, I'm so excited right now. I'm feeling real. Right now, right now, that's that's how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, y'all, let's go get this. And then we're gonna come back in and look at the as is air. Y'all know I got this mask on. Y'all know it don't take shit for me to start sweat. I gotta start walking on the treadmill because my endurance is shitty. So. Let's go get this, pay for this mirror and then we'll be back in to look at the as is. So, see you guys in a second.
So now I want to go park the car in a parking space. And then we're going to come back in and look at the as is area. I don't want to take up a space right here. But I got my mirror. But I got my mirror. Mm-hmm. But now I am a little nervous. I'm going to put some cushion under it. Ooh. As if it don't take me two seconds to get high any damn way. So, let's... I ain't even out of breath. I'm just high. So, let's find a parking space now. Let's find a spot. Let's find a spot. And then I'm going to try my best. To, when I tell y'all, it takes me zero seconds to get super sweaty to let in here. Do you do some type of documentary? I saw you in here last time. I rang you out. I said, I, I got a YouTube channel, boo. Candace the Aries, you know. Check me out. Up and coming. Big shit, real song. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me get myself together. Now we can walk slower because she said it was 23 Hoven mirrors. And when we went over there, as y'all could see, it was not 23 left. So I ain't mad at the at the rush that I took. So it's hot. Y'all know Patricia ain't got no AC. I keep telling myself I'm going to put it in the shop, but I ain't did it yet. But I will. Sir, let's go and look at the as is area. Baby, when I tell y'all this heat is heating. And then I took my dumb ass out here in a damn black shirt. Cause apparently I didn't think the heat was gonna touch me and it did. It touched me very inappropriately. It was very inappropriate. And I don't appreciate it. Not one damn bit. So I'll catch you on the inside when we get to the as is. It's right towards the beginning. Y'all, when I came in, I came through the damn exit. Let me be respectful and go to the beginning. So, little recap. I'm looking for, what am I looking for? I just want to check out the discounted stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I also want to get some organizers for my drawers. So, last Tuesday, I bought what did I buy? The Mic. I bought the Mic desk with the lac wall shelf and the Alex cabinet. So now I just want to look at the as is items to see what I could see. Because if I could get some discount organizational stuff, I want that. I want it real bad. Shit, I should have came through the exit. Because they got all of these closed up. I ain't going to look at the plants because I'm staying focused and on task. That's what we're doing. So, I'm not going to look at any plants. Maybe. Maybe. I might take that back. We might look at some plants, but... No, we're gonna stick to it and stay in the as is. So now we're coming up on it now and I'm super excited about it to see what we can see. So let me turn y'all around. Okay. This is cute, but the color is screaming. Y'all see that? If y'all wanted to come to the Bolingbrook location and get y'all a uh, living room, some living room seating, they say his ass is. Don't talk shit to them about no scrapes or scratches. Cause his ass is. So I wanna look for, I don't like they seating already is 
too low. And I ain't gonna put myself because the way my knees made up, they don't work like that. You know? If I can get down when I get down when I need to, they don't play it over this section. I don't think I'm gonna be here long. So, two things organization items. We'll look at some four plants and some mats, some floor mats. Only if it's on this level. I'm not gonna go to the other levels because that's when I get out of hand and I don't wanna get out of hand. That's where that lack of stuff is. Yep, it was right here. It's gone, y'all. You gotta be an early bird to catch the worm. Baby, my endurance is it's at an all-time low. At an all-time low. But I'm going to get it together. Nothing that a little bit of treadmill activity can't fix. So, okay, so these are the plants. Let me see, y'all. This is the plant area. These are faux plants. When I tell you these are nice, but I really think that I need to, what do I need to do? I need to finish up the space before I start adding accents like this. I get lost in the sauce when I'm in spaces like this because the girly girl in me is fairly activated. Now, Should I be in my car on the way home? Yes. But am I in the car on the way home? No. I am in a section of Ikea that I have no business in, but I'm here. And now I don't want to leave out empty handed. And this is my issue that I go through with shopping. So here we are. I'm looking for the rugs though. I'm, I'm trying to be productive. So I'm looking for rugs right now. When I was here on Tuesday, I got lost in this damn store. So I'm making sure that I stay on the main level. We found the rugs. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm staying on task. So I found the rugs. Am I gonna overbuy? No, I'm not gonna overbuy. Say it with me. We will not overbuy. I don't even need this, but I like it because it's cute. And that's a lot, not in my house. Don't, don't even come. So, I don't want a big, a big rug. What I'm looking for is a small rug for the mirror. Because the floor is a hard wood, and I want the mirror to be leaning, but I don't want a rug that's going to be so big that it's going to take up a bunch of space. These are all big ass rugs. These are outside rugs. I don't even want nobody to feel friendly enough to come on my porch to look at my rug. So I, will, I don't even want a cute rug for outside. I like these. This is the one that I was looking at last time. Now I can't y'all not. This is a nice size. How much is this? Okay, $20 ain't bad. $20 is not bad. Hold up, so y'all can see. Y'all probably can't pick this color up. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how that feel. But I do like this one. I can't bring myself to pay $40 for a rug that I know is only for under a mirror. Puts me in a bit of a dilemma because I have an issue with not getting what I want. This is part of the overspending that comes into play 
could I go to Wayfair? Nah, could I go to Home Goods and find a rug? Yes. Are they going to be as nice as these? I don't think so, no. No, I don't think so. I like this one. I'm going to get it. Is this the same size as this one? What's the number on here? So I'm trying to make sure this one is the same as this one. What's the size on this? Yes. So this is the same one. So I'll get this one. I like it. I didn't get a cart on purpose. Because if I get a cart, I'm going to fill it up. Okay, so as promised, I left. I'm very proud of myself. I came back and got the rug. I didn't get any additional things. So... Here's just the rug. And you know what? I think I'm gonna have to get, I forgot where I parked. I think, I love this handheld thing, but it's not, I wanna be here. But that hurt my arm. I know I'm sweaty, y'all. You know it don't take nothing. Listen, I'm gonna be working on this song. I stretch this little purse to the max. We're like, what's in your purse? Bullshit. A bunch of bullshit. That's what's in my purse. A whole bunch of papers and bullshit. But that's okay. It's gonna be all right. Let's get a Patricia, roll the windows down. Cause y'all know. Buying all this shit. And I still ain't took her. Hold on. I still ain't took her to the shop to get the air fix. Okay, yeah, I'm taking my shoe off. I'm gonna put the GPS on. But yeah, because I am anemic, the the heat normally doesn't bother me. Y'all, so I multiple people well, my mama friends, cause my friends are good, thankfully. But my mama friends, like they talking about how it's, you know, people starting to get COVID, like a lot again. Not that it ever went away when I'm doing. Nine hundred feet. Keep right to I three fifty five. Not that it ever went away, suburbs. but it kind of dwindled down a little bit per se, and now. Right to I-355 South Fort South It's back up. On it popping. So I'm like, bitch, break the mask back out then. It's nothing. It's nothing. Cause I keep I keep the mask on me. I keep I keep that thing on me. But I haven't I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I haven't been wearing one. Like I don't go out much, but when I do, I have not been wearing one. Um because I just didn't want to. I mean, I, I felt like because we had the option not to, I had I had an option to choose. So I chose not to. However, because I'm now hearing, I hope y'all can hear well, because I promise you, I am not, I promise you, I'm not rolling these windows up. So I've been hearing like a lot of people who have been, what the hell did I say? 80s. Okay. A lot of people who have been like dealing, talking to people who have COVID, like they know people who are dealing with COVID. Bitch, slow down because you see I need to get over. They have been dealing with COVID. So I'm like, damn, shit is spiking back up. And I mean, you know, I got to get in close sometime to get the light back right. I'm still. I'm still working on it, y'all. That's why. That's why when I be driving, I don't uh, I don't do it too. I don't be on my camera that much no more because I'm still trying to figure this out. Because I'm like, it's plenty of people that I've seen on YouTube that are darker than me. That camera stay bright the whole time, so it's the camera. It's not me. So because of so many people that's been popping up um, 
that my mom knows, like with COVID and stuff, I was like, okay, you gotta start wearing your mask again. And then when I called today to get, um, what did I call today for? To check on the holding mirror, cause I just could not believe that it was actually available. And the message was like, you know, due to the rise in cases of COVID, we recommend that you wear your mask indoors, even if you fully vaccinated. So I said, okay, you know, that's all the confirmation that I need. And since I keep that thing on me more than one, I said, okay, we're gonna put it back on. Do I be hot? Yes, because it don't take nothing. Here we go, here we go. I figured out how to get it back light, y'all. At least I can do that. I am gonna watch a YouTube tutorial today because I'm sick of this shit. But... But I feel, I feel safer knowing that I'm, you know, keeping myself safe because for a minute it, everything was, you know, copacetic with the COVID, it was the numbers was going, all of that. But I don't know what the hell going on now, and I ain't trying to find out. So I'm, I'm back, and I'm be checking the news to see what the news talking about regarding this. Y'all, when I tell you I done had this hair up for a month. So I might, when I look at this, I might keep this footage or I might not. But as a matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna get y'all up when when I get back to the house. My battery about to die. I'm at Burger King, y'all, and they got they had a cherry. I said it had like a mystery flavor. It's green, but it's like. It's giving like a cherry vanilla. That's the best way I could explain it. It's good. It's not bad. It, it's definitely some mixed shit though. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get me a whopper. So I'm gonna eat that. And go home and chill. Thank you, you two. So I'm gonna eat that. Go home and chill a little bit. Hopefully my brother up he can bring out a meal. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Hey y'all, don't worry about the background, these pillows that I gotta figure out what I'm about to do with. So I got my whole mirror up. I ain't took the plastic off yet. I'ma eat and then I'ma come back to y'all, show y'all the height of it. And then I'll take the plastic off and all of that. Right now, I'm hungry and I'm ready to bust into my Burger King. I got my water. Don't talk about this water. I actually this I actually like this water, so it's whatever. My alkaline water is still upstairs. I need to get more water in because my face is starting to break out bad. Um a cup like last year I had a horrible breakout. I don't know where it came from. Never has happened before. And ever since then I've really been trying to like get my skin back to where it was. It's not there yet, but it's getting there. I'm very patient with it. But I know for sure that because my cycle is about to start, it's not helping. It's not helping at all. So, yeah, I'm about to watch a little TV, eat my food, and then I'll be back with y'all in a minute to show y'all the mirror. Okay, you guys, as promised, I'm going to unwrap this COVID beauty. Look at me, y'all. Look at this face. Oh, you just... Being a tall person, a tall woman, y'all just don't understand how this is. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. I'm relaxing. Y'all pay attention to the mirror. So I need the rug. Okay. Yes, I 
about it. That's y'all, that's that negativity y'all got going on. And don't break it this way. Done saying I'm done playing. Last time was on the outro. Stuck in the house, need to get out more. I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising. Most people in my position get complacent. Come places with star girls. End up on the front pages. I'm quiet with it. I just ride with it. I love it, you guys. Hovey Mira at the... Where did I get this from? Got this Hovey Mira from the... Bowling Brook lo location, you guys, and I absolutely love it. So, I'm gonna work with it a little bit more. And when it's time to do like a full room reveal, then you guys will actually get to see everything. So, for now, this is it. I love it. I love it. If I don't talk to you guys again tonight, um, good night, and I'll see you guys another day. Man, it's like I can't even think straight these days. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It is Wednesday, so I woke up today, y'all. Y'all already see what I'm munching on starting now. I'm trying to get more water in my life. I feel like I haven't been, I haven't been consuming enough water. I'm noticing like lines here that weren't here before. So I'm like, oh, I also haven't been getting a lot of sleep. I'm still, I'm still dealing with insomnia. So it's getting better. It's getting better. I went to sleep at three compared to five a lot of these other days so i am feeling not the best today i'm feeling let me take that back i'm all over the place y'all because mother nature is approaching you know and so i'm a little hot and cool i'm a little agitated and calm i'm a little hungry and not i want something sweet and healthy so i have my watermelon y'all and my alkaline water so i'm gonna get to eating that today's gonna be a real chill relaxed day because I don't have nothing to plan today. So, if I decide to do something today, then y'all will be here with me, of course. But the way my body set up, Mother Nature, I'm sick of it. I personally feel like, especially, especially if you're if you're abstinent, if you're practicing abstinence. I really feel like you should just have to like because it's 2022. Let's 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 keep it real. Technology is we're up there, okay? I'm at my house, but yet I can put this on the computer and everyone who wants to watch it can watch it in their house, regardless of where you are. And so technology is up there, you know? There should be some type of way. Let, let me stop before they mess around and be trying to put uh microchips in our little hoo-hahs to regulate this. But I'm like, I wish it was like, no, I don't wish, but see how indecisive I am? That's what she do to me. I wanna be able to just like log in an app and be like, are you still practicing abstinence? Yes, I am. It could even be like a little lie detector thing. You put my finger on it. Oh yeah, she really is. And then no cycle comes because at this point, I just feel like there should be a way that I can kind of like bypass it. Like I could like skip a month knowing that I'm not pregnant or anything like that. Kind of like HelloFresh, how you could just like skip a week, you know, skip a meal and then be like, I'm going to double back to that later on or don't give it to me on the 23rd, give it to me on the 12th, something like that. No, like, you know, some way where I could 
bypass it. Only if you're being abstinent, though, because that's the only true way of knowing that you're absolutely not pregnant. So, yeah, so that's the that's the mood I'm in right now. I, I'm i glad that I got up and got my room together because that was definitely something that I wanted to do. I need to wash today. So we might just be doing some house stuff. I already put the LAC wall shelf together. I already put the Alex cabinet together. I already put the Mick desk together. I didn't do, I didn't show y'all those because it's so many tutorials on YouTube that would be way better than mine because when I tell you I I put stuff together but not to this extent and um y'all about to be laughing at me because I put the rollers on wrong and I had to unscrew the rollers because I couldn't get the drawers in because they were supposed to be facing up and then they was facing down and I had to unscrew them all and face them the right way so it, it would have been a very long tutorial and everybody in the comments would have been like why would you do a tutorial on this and you don't even know what you're doing so I didn't do it now the lack wall shelf chef's kiss that was very easy even with the Alex desk the Alex cabinet I put the lid on upside down so then when I put the drawers in they didn't line up because the way that I had it it was upside down so the big drawers were supposed to go at the top and the little drawers were supposed to go at the bottom but I wanted the little drawers to go at the top and the big drawers to go at the bottom like it was pictured so then I had to take the top and the bottom off you you, you, you see where I'm going with this you see what I'm going with? you see why I didn't do a tutorial y'all do, do you see because it would have been a hot mess and another thing either I'm picking wrong or watermelon is not in season no more because I've had two that were very reminiscent of a cucumber I'm talking cucumber not the color but very very light pink very very light pink like a like the dusty pink color that the old girl in Steel Magnolias wanted to have for her wedding. It's like the little whatever color she said. It was like that. Very light pinkish, peachy, like it was crazy. And it was awful. I got two watermelons. First I had got one from Jules and I thought it was Jules playing me dirty, but it wasn't because I got one from got two from Walmart. And I just had to throw one out. This one is okay, but I'm assuming that they're not in season. I never know when fruit is in season. If it's out and available to buy, I assume that it's in season. But now I know that be they that's not always the case. They just be putting shit out sometimes. So yeah, so along with everything else, I had to get up this morning and scuffle if you will with two watermelons now i need to google and see if watermelons are out of season because i don't want to keep wasting my money like this i'm not i'm not feeling it i don't like that so i know what i'm gonna wash today i definitely know that i'm gonna wash today i'm still trying to um still got stuff that i gotta put down here to get together before i actually like show y'all stuff i still need like organization and stuff like that you know so we're not there yet but for now i'm gonna eat my breakfast even though it's like one i woke up not too long ago so it's breakfast for me i woke up at like noon ish maybe 12 40 something i got up don't look at me like that i got up at like six to use the bathroom then I came back down and I went back to sleep. That's what happened. You know, this is my schedule. And, and that and it's okay, okay? It's okay. I have um, come to terms with my sleep schedule. And it's going to get better. It is. Just not quite there yet. I'm trying to find my, my little good spot. Uh, I don't like staying up late. And I definitely don't like getting up this late. Because you lose a lot of the day. And. I need the day. Don't I need the day, y'all? I need the day. I need the day. I'm talking to the universe. I need the day. I do. So, yeah, that's it, y'all. I'm about to sit and chill. 
probably finish off Stranger Things because I'm on season four, episode four, and even my mama done watched the rest of season four. So don't do that. And I also got to finish off Pea Valley. So it's a lot of stuff that a lot of shows that I actually want to just go ahead and finish off that I haven't finished off yet. And then my little lapish top here that want to go to sleep on me when I'm trying to show people that you are on one. Yeah, there we go. I also want to edit the my day for Monday for y'all. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day today. My day is going to be awesome regardless if Mother Nature is trying to come around and bloat me up to try to bring me down. One thing about it, the bloat is going to go away. The water retention is going to subside. And then I'm going to be good. In approximately five to seven days. Give or take. So, yeah. You guys have a wonderful day. And I'll be back with you guys later on. My battery's about to die. So, yeah. I'll be back with you guys later on. If not later on that I will see you guys another day. But nine times out of 10, I'll see you guys later on. Go get y'all something to eat, like me. I hope y'all watermelon is in season if y'all have some, cause highly disappointed, highly disappointed. This is my little remote control, y'all. <laughs> Watch it. Hey y'all, so it's Friday. Um, Yeah, eczema, I told you. <laughs> I deals with it. So, I know I was supposed to get back with y'all about two days ago. Was it Tuesday? Wednesday? Whatever day it was, I didn't get back with y'all. Uh, Mother Nature had me in a chokehold. So, yeah, I had to sit on down. But, you know, Mother Nature, she done punched out. And now her, she done tapped her daughter in, Daughter Nature. And so, daughter nature is not as brutal as mother nature. So, today, I had some energy. Why is it doing this? And I'm in the house. I really got to get this together. So, I got up today. I actually had some energy to actually go out and do something. I haven't really had an appetite or anything like that these last couple of days. So, today, I actually had an appetite. So, y'all know I went to Subway. Y'all know I love Subway. Subway by the house. And I didn't. I was not up on Subway until a little bit recent when my mom put me on to her sub. It was... It was on some mom i'm hungry like what, what we what we finna eat and she's like oh well, i don't know what we finna eat but i got a little subway sandwich at the sandwich and i'm just like i need that so i got a subway sandwich this is legit my first meal of the day i had some tea last night and this morning that's how bad it got for me so i'm finally about to eat you guys and let me show y'all my sandwich real quick hold up let me see if i can get it in i got y'all on the tripod so this is my sandwich this is my favorite subway sandwich so what's in it is what's in this sandwich i'm, I'm on the couch y'all don't mind me so what's in the sandwich is hold up ridiculous so i do foot long wheat toasted a foot long turkey on wheat toasted with mozzarella then i add mayo spinach lettuce tomatoes um green peppers black olives and jardinero peppers and then i put like they put like that oregano on there did i miss anything yeah, and it's, it's Chef's Kiss. Chef's Kiss, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, this vlog, I don't know what, this this might just be a, um, a Hoven mirror vlog, because uh, at this point, there ain't even no napkin. Hold up, y'all, let me baby wipe. So, at this point, because I know 
this vlog is just like all over the place. I'm trying to think. I'm going to finish this off. Because at this point, the footage I got is not even really, I ain't going to say it's not vlog worthy. I ain't going to say that. But it might not be like a vlog. Like a, a vlog vlog. Because I haven't been feeling well. When I'm on cycle, y'all, I be down bad. I be down bad. Mother Nature, she always comes with a strong arm. And she makes sure she put me in the tightest chokehold every time. So, um, only got like a couple more days. I simmer down, you know, daughter nature. She be, you know. She she's like a teenager, so she don't really be she don't really be for none. She really like, girl, whatever. Cause I'm really trying to leave, to be honest. So once daughter nature hit, I be she she be a little mellowed out, but sometimes she she like to cut up too. When I'm gonna make her mad, I guess. So today, I finally plan to get some washing done. I know the last time I talked to y'all, I said I was gonna wash. When I tell y'all, I been down bad, like in the bed, sleep all day, bad. Yesterday, when I have a bottle of watermelon. I think that's all I had yesterday. And some tea. Mm. I also have three glasses of wine, but I needed that. So I wanted wine with this. But what I'm learning is I'm kind of like a Prosecco more than the red wine. Like the red wine is still good, but I think I'm turning into like a champagne girl. And I'm like, when I re-up, am I going to be re-upping on four bottles of Prosecco instead of the two? So would I do four bottles of Prosecco and two bottles of the sweet red from Cooper Sock? I don't know. I don't know, but two bottles is not enough for me with Prosecco. And Prosecco give me that nice, ooh. I don't know about y'all. Y'all ever had Prosecco before? Prosecco give me that nice little buzz that I'm looking for. It don't make me tipsy, but. It mellows me out for sure. When I tell you this stuff is so good, y'all. So good. Every time it's so good. So, yeah. There's a lot of stuff I still got to do with the room. I don't have a chair yet for my uh, desk. I still need to get my stuff organized now that I got the drawer. So when I tell you, there's so much stuff that I have wanted to do this week. And then I literally forgot that my cycle was about to come. And so it really kind of like knocked stuff down. When I'm on my cycle, I do not try to, if I don't have to, I do not try to push through it. If I'm tired, I go to sleep. If I'm hungry, I eat. If I'm intermittent fasting, when I'm in my cycle, that shit is out the window. I don't normally go too crazy. Um, when I'm on my cycle, but if I want ice cream after hours, after my eating window, guess who getting ice cream? This girl. So I do not. If I don't have to, I'm not a tough it out kind of girl on my cycle. I'm very much so whatever I feel that I need to comfort me during that time. That's what I'm going to do. So, I didn't get to wear my nails as much as I wanted to. And then I wanted to put them back on. But then, um, it was like Ikea stuff that I needed to move down here as well as put together and I knew the nails was going to interfere and now that I'm actually now that I'm actually ready to 
put my nails on. The feet that I did with them look a mess. Look a mess. So now, I don't even want to wear them nails. Now I want to do a different set of nails. I have some nails that I prepped. They were like a bluish color. I might add some stuff to it so it like brighten them up a little bit and just throw them on. Because then I'll, honestly, I don't really feel like doing like a whole new set of nails. Not right now. Especially when I know that I don't have my chair to be comfortable in. I also want to go on Amazon and get a water bottle. Because I want to drink my alkaline. This is Dasani water. I like it. But my alkaline water. I don't know if y'all drink alkaline water. But my alkaline water. It was helping with my skin and stuff like that. But because I don't really like drinking cups of water. I like my water to like a bottle and stuff. I tend to not drink my alkaline water as much. One second. So, I don't want them big ass water bottles like they be having where people be like have inspirational. I don't like that because that's going to be overwhelming for me. And my water going to get warm. I might try that coldest water bottle. Just to kind of keep the water cold. Because I love my alkaline water. And then when I want to do a nice flush, I add some lemon. I don't do fresh lemons if I don't got it. I just use lemon juice. I put some lemon juice in that water. Shug it down. I'll be peeing for the rest of the day. Clean my system out. Keeps cranberry juice on deck. Because if y'all not caring about your urinary tract health, who will? Who will? So, yeah. So, I definitely want to... I still didn't even edit the I ain't even edit the, the footage that I already had. That's how bad I've been down, y'all. I didn't even edit the footage that I had. So that's also on my to-do list today because now I got some energy. It is currently 6.42. I'm just eating for the day. Um I had more energy than I thought I would have after my shower, but I think it's because I knew I wanted to go to Subway and I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait too late because I think they closed at like eight, and I was gonna be very disappointed. So I'm gonna edit that footage and I got some stuff I need to order off of Amazon. So yeah, this when I tell y'all. My cycles be sitting me down. Be sitting me down. And I know that the vlogs that I have, like, I want my vlogs to be whatever they're going to be. But I know for me, I like to watch vlogs a little bit more. I guess dewy, showy, or whatever. Where people actually doing stuff other than just like sitting down and talking. But this, listen, I, I be in the house. I be in the house. I have been getting out more. But I be in the house. And I like to be in the house. And I prefer to be in the house. I really should start talking about. Um, I might make a video on that. About just like being a, a YouTuber that's like a, that's actually an introvert. Where it's like, I still don't go out. A lot. I get out and I do the things that I need to do, but never been a party girl, never been a I had a bunch of friends and stuff like that. I might have had like one, two friends and I would pop out with my one, two friends. When I was younger, um, I hung outside a lot, but I still hung out. I hung outside in my old neighborhood and like we all grew up together. So it was kind of like a, to me, it kind of felt like family. Like when you hang out with your cousins and stuff like that. So like, yeah, we used to hang out like that, but we never like went nowhere. We would just like hang out in the neighborhood type thing. Like go from like block to block and just chill. And that was plenty fun for me. But now that I'm older, I still, I still don't really have no desire to do like I guess the typical things that other people do and I'm trying to kind of get out of that I like 
I have friends that they'll be like, you know, well, I have a friend. And she'll be like, hey, you know, you want to go out and eat? And, like, I'll go out and eat with her and stuff like that. And that'd be cool. But I like eating alone as well. I like going to the show. I like doing a lot of things by myself that I guess a lot of other people may frown upon. Like, I had a friend and they were like, uh, you go to the show by yourself? I'm like, yeah. They're like, why would you go to the show by yourself? I'm like why wouldn't I go to the show? But they're like, well, the show is a, you're, you're supposed to go to the show with a date. I'm like, really? Is that why people be looking at me when I be at the show? I, I don't care. But it's just one of those things where it's like, well, I didn't know that that was like a couple's thing. I don't have like a whole lot of experience in relationships and working on that as well. But, um, that'll be for a different video, of course. But I like to do a lot of stuff by myself. But for the majority of the time, I be in the house. If I have the choice of being outside or in the house, guess what I'm going to be? In the house. I'm going to be in the house. I like being in the house. I like the atmosphere. I love being around my family. I like being around my family being a part. Like, I also like being around my family. Like, I love to be able to know that I could just go sit with my mom, have a conversation. I could come chill down here. I could go talk. I could talk to anybody in the house that I want to talk to. And I still have my own space to come back to. So, I guess when you have a pleasant, peaceful home, you tend to want to stay there more than actually going out into like the hustle and bustle of the world so i think that plays a part of it as well because this is such a comfortable environment my family has made this house such a comfortable and peaceful environment that i just i prefer to be here i prefer i go out i go out but because i prefer to be alone i guess it's the uh, again it might be like the introvert in me i don't say i i won't say i have social anxiety but it um i don't know if it's because i'm spiritual but shit is draining it's very draining when i go out and i have to have advanced notice that I'm going out. I'm not a hey girl, what you doing? Last you know, put some clothes on this. I'm not that type of girl. Not that type of lady at all. If you are my friend, you know that I'm not a I'm not a last minute kind of girl. I'm not a spur of the moment kind of girl. I have to have notice. I have to prep mentally to go out. And specifically, I need to know how long possibly I'm going to be out. And like, okay, so like, now I don't be like, how long are we finna be out? Like, not like that. It's like, okay, if you want to go out to eat, I know that I could, it'll be maybe four hours, five hours, depending on where we're going. So it lets me be able to mentally prepare for that, for the travel and stuff. Like, And I ain't even going to say five hours, four hours, pretty much. It gives me time to like mentally prepare to be in an atmosphere with other people other humans other environments personalities just auras just everything about other people like i have to prepare for that it's very very draining for me and like you'll never catch me you might it might be a time where i might feel a little feisty but thus far i've never like partied all weekend like never even when i'm on vacation don't be on vacation. It's not part of my show. I'm going to shadow. Even when I'm on vacation, I like to get up when I want to get up. I don't like vacation where I got to go. And every day, you got to be at that 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't like that whole, well, we on vacation. You can sleep when you go. Mm -mm, I want to sleep now. I want to sleep now. If you want to to go 55 different places on vacation it, it it needs to be longer for me because i need to i want to get up when i want to get up i want to get up at six i don't want to do that i want to get up at eight i want to get up when i get up i might wake up on my own at seven i might wake up at my own on my own at six but i don't want to have to wake up 
at that time i want to wake up when i wake up and so like when i be on vacation i chill on vacation um we went to hawaii a couple years ago with the family it was a beautiful vacation for my aunt's birthday it was beautiful but we had things planned and so every day we had to get up early not complaining because it wasn't too early so it wasn't bad but i felt like every day i had to like get up early to do stuff now mind you like i said i enjoyed the vacation and all of that but when it was time to go um me my mom and my aunt we ended up staying an extra day and we like just we slept in the extra day that we stayed there we slept in we got up when we felt like it. We went to the beach and stuff like that. Because that was something that actually we didn't get to do a lot of. So we got to go to the beach and just got to like relax and stuff like that. Because it was like every day it was just like go, 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 go. Because we had so much planned. And because the times that we had to be there were not super early, it was not bad. But I've also been places where it's an itinerary full of stuff and like it's like, oh, it's a tour at 6 o'clock. No, it's not. not. Not what I'm about to be on. It's an 8 o'clock. No, it's not. Because if it's an 8 o'clock tour, that means I got to get up at like 6, 6 something. Because if depending on how far the place is, like I can't get up at seven and be ready by eight, especially because it's like if we gotta be gone at seven thirty to get someplace at eight, you know. So I I like to I like to chill. I don't know if it's because I'm an introvert. I don't know if it's be if, if if it's because I'm just like laid back and that's just like what I prefer to do. I don't know. But I spend a lot of time really trying to figure me out because I know that I'm not I know I'm not the only person like me but I don't know nobody else that really operates the way that I do and sometimes it made me feel some type of way sometimes it makes me feel like is it something wrong with me or is it, or is it something wrong with other people and I definitely want to make a separate um I definitely want to make a separate video for that because because being on YouTube you know a lot of people get to see your videos and stuff and so I always know that I'm not the only person that's going through stuff I'm not the only person that got eczema I'm not the only person that got acne. I'm not the only person that's living with their parents. But there's a lot of people that have issues with talking about stuff like that. And I used to be one of those people. And I'm not doing it anymore. I'm going to talk about it. Because there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. So I feel like society has put so many labels on what your life should look like at certain ages. What you should be doing at certain times. What your relationship like sh life should be like and all of that stuff. And I feel like people try so hard to try to keep up with that. That when you meet somebody like me that's not keeping up with that. That's not really trying to. That's not doing stuff in order. I'm doing stuff like at the, it's getting done. But it's it, some of the stuff is at the beat of my own drum. It's like it makes you feel like sometimes like you're the only person. And so I do have videos that are not going to be vlogs. They're just going to be sit downs because whoever watched this video, I want, hopefully it's people that can relate to me and like my lifestyle is not a typical lifestyle, but it is a perfect lifestyle for me i'm very happy i'm very content um i'm i'm in a space where i can constantly grow and expand at my own pace i have a very supportive family that is like you can do everything anything you want to do you could do what you want to do yep you could do that what you want to do yep you could do that you could do that you could do that you could do that um you know i've never been told like you can't do that that might not be a good fit for you not never it's everything it's like you can do that you so i've been able to dip my hands in a lot of different things and i just know that i'm not the only person that um lives like this i'm not the only person that has family like this i'm not the only person that has a good relationship with their parents it's so many i'm gonna say that for another video i'm just gonna say it for another video so yeah i'm about to finish eating i really wish my wine was chill but it is not i don't even know if red wine goes well with a subway sandwich but it was gonna go today if it was uh cold but it's not cold so i just put it in the refrigerator and yeah so i still need to wash and stuff like that so y'all might get like um 
some b-roll do y'all want to see that i don't really think i care about me washing i think if i was gonna wash it, it if i was gonna video myself washing that really should have been like a full vlog and not this like piece by piece vlog piece together vlog um so uh, yeah i still need to get support i got a lot of amazon little amazon knickknacks and stuff that i need to do because now that i actually got the opportunity to um organize i really want to organize because i want this space to look very aesthetic -y and organized i got some diy projects that i want to do that y'all gonna be chilling with me doing so yeah so i'm about to chill i finished stranger things i'm very proud of myself it was it was good it was good i didn't know how that was gonna go about but but the ending I'm not gonna give it away but the ending makes me feel like and let me know if, if y'all feel the same way if anybody watching this y'all watch stranger things did the ending the the season finale for season four did make y'all feel like it might be a a little a little spinny spin off i hope that's not giving away too much but it, it was given it was given spinoff vibes and i don't know how they would work that out i think i know how they was going to piece together the finale but they did it so everybody is grown on the show like now everybody grown everybody grown the um the black boy i forgot his name that quick hold up let me let me get his name because i don't want to call him the uh i'm gonna call him the black boy don't talk about my pillow my little button fell off i got the button upstairs i just ain't sew it back on yet let me see well i got a text message i need oh my mama sent me a text message hold up i'm gonna check it in a minute um let me see stranger things cast what's his name lucas 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 is lucas is grown girl i just asked for the cast i don't need you to read nothing to me let's let me let's see how old he is lucas lucas is 20 lucas lucas is 20 years old but in the season finale he was giving alcohol lips now i'm just i'm gonna just say that if if you know you know so these these kids are grown they're not kids anymore they're they're young adults they're grown he's 20 but when he gonna be 21 in october but when he was celebrity baby they said drew barrymore was was doing she was going to club when she was a, a child so he, he he was giving liquor lips i'm gonna just put that out there now it could be a, a hyperpigmentation issue i'm not i ain't trying to put no labels on him but what i'm saying is they're not children anymore so i don't know what the, the spinoff if they were to do a spinoff it, it needs to be placed years ahead of time so that these kids can actually be adults now because y'all had these grown adults these grown young adults acting like high schoolers and kids and it was time y'all knew it was time that's why y'all that's why y'all did what y'all did so yeah so i finished that show i still have not finished p valley I think I only seen like two episodes of the latest version of the latest uh season. But I'm watching that with my mama, so I'm definitely not gonna watch that by myself because me and my mama we be vibing off of P Valley. You know that. We fell into P Valley because initially we were not even trying to watch P Valley. But my mom, I was like, you know, let's watch P Valley. Everybody say it's good, and we watched it. And we saw the first episode and we was like, mm, all right. By the second episode, we was binge watching it by the end of the first episode we was we were ready to binge watch it and we binge watched it this season it is not starting off slow but we just kind of got to get back into the groove of things i've been kind of missing out on a lot of my shows we ain't gonna talk about how i never saw one episode of power of power book they done came out with a couple different spin -off. i ain't seen none of those the last the last thing i saw was the original power I ain't seen no power book. I ain't seen none of that. They said Mary J killed it. I'm gonna take y'all word for it, cause that's that's MJB. And what else is she gonna do but kill it? That's that's what she does. So yeah, so I'm about to finish eating and 
I might come back later on, y'all. I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling. We're going we gonna to figure it out. But yeah. Thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk.